Uh, I'm sorry, what? Legendary Troll Stash? These are Ultimate Edition rewards? Is that what I read? Pro Wait, hold, what? Huh? Why do I have the Nocturno? Oh my goodness, today is off to- Wait, I have two Nocturno? Do I actually have the Nocturno at all, or is this game- Ooh, ooh Trapdoor ability, alright, alright. What is this? Founder's Hero Bundle. Okay, alright. Hold up. Did they just upgrade my version? Okay. I guess I'm getting Founder stuff, which could be fun. What? Did they just give me the Nocturno? Oh, 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 what does she do? Heals your max health every- Wait, she just heals you constantly? <gasps> okay, so I know this is still like the intro part of the video, but I am like scrolling through the patch notes here, just like reading through it carefully, just trying to like piece this all together because I don't want to just yell everything all at you all at once, but oh my goodness, they've just filled up the entire shop. Oh, Star Spangled's back again. All right, I'm gonna go back to reading. Oh my goodness, there is so much to unpack. So right off the bat, I'm going to say that there is a, a big new update with them bringing back the pirate event and the hit the road event at the exact same time. And there are so many amazing heroes that are gonna come with that. And there's a state of development, which is going to be covered in a separate video because I've done a quick scan. It is a block of text and I'm sure there's a lot that we wanna know in there. I will be reading through that in a different video, not word for word, I'll try to make it interesting, but yeah, that'll be very, very interesting. And most importantly of all, oh shoot, I'm 21 now, oh, I don't want to think about that. Alright, so, let's just get through these patch notes, and you already saw the intro, there's a lot in game, a lot of very exciting things, and everything that I've been telling people that is probably going to return is, is back. And if I squeak at all, or if I make any weird noises today, I just woke up. Like seriously, I rolled out of bed, was like, oh yeah, nice big... Nice big day. Oh, oh shoot. Yeah, there's an update, huh? And then I confirmed it. And I was like, oh shoot. And then I, I I jumped out of bed and here we are. So I'm not going to read this verbatim. You guys, you guys can see it right there. So yeah, they added the pirate event and the hit the road event, which is really, really exciting. And I'm going to jump ahead a little bit and say the hit the road tickets are back. That is what was used to open birthday llamas last year. So it's not confirmed. Okay. That I'm aware of. Maybe I'm totally wrong. I haven't read the other part yet. Like I said, there's much to know, but uh, birthday llamas are very, very, very likely returning. And then they added Director Riggs as his own hero, so that's kind of interesting. Going Constructor gets an extra duration limit, uh, increase. That's nice, I think. I'm sure that'll be useful. I have no idea. Metal Team Leader Pack is confirmed. Lots of the leaks already said this. We're gonna get a for Totes Adorbs little bow there. You get an entire copy of Save the World, apparently, for now $20, which is interesting. And I'm also going to say, as you saw from the intro, apparently they're giving... People who have, like, upgraded, like, I have the limited. So when you buy the game at $20 or $40 is the regular price, which is now apparently apparently $20, if you upgrade it to $20, you get, like, the Founders Edition, and then that's that was, like, $60, and then at a $40 more dollars was what I had, the limited, which is a $100 version of the game, and then $100 more dollars. If I'm not mistaken, if the price points are a little off, you can correct me, but it doesn't change what I'm saying in that the most expensive version of the game is what gave you the Nocturno and all of those other bigger weapons. And I am, like, you have no idea how excited I am to actually play with the Nocturno and all of those other weapons. And I will certainly be making videos on them now that they have been bumped to my priority list. However, there's this weapon right here coming Thursday, they say. Uh, if I can read that uh, right around, oh, you can see it, it's in there. They, they said Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, oh, there you go. So, not only am I excited to play with those and this, but there's so much more added to this game that I, I am ready to tackle. So, what's interesting is, from what I can tell, they've taken that away. So, um, everybody who had the Ultimate Edition, they're going to give you 8,000 V-Bucks and Metal Team Leader Pack for free. Uh, I assume that'll be upon release. I, uh, if you already have that stuff, let me know. Comments below. Again, as with like all of my videos here in, in the future in the past, I will pin a comment if I get anything wrong or if anything pertinent changes. So, check the pinned comment for updates. And then, of course, it'll give a, a good amount. So, you'll get uh, 1,000 V-Bucks from the challenges, which if you're somebody who actually, um, you know, cares about V-Bucks, which is probably a lot of you if this thing costs ten dollars then a thousand v bucks will pay for itself and then 500 x-ray tickets is that on top of v bucks are x-ray tickets now how you buy things actually let me check uh let me go to the llama shop uh, 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 no x-ray uh no it's still costing v bucks and then i have a ton of upgrade llamas which i might open in a separate video because rad llamas are here i'm jumping ahead again that is one of the very exciting things i have a bunch of troll stash llamas i might just open all this uh not now. I'm going to save that for a different video because llama openings are kind of their own animal. Uh, so yeah, the Metal Team Leader Pack is confirmed. I don't like leaks on this channel. I might, you know, cover them in the future or whatever, but 
Um, a lot of other YouTubers saw this way before I did, and I just didn't want to jump on that train because I like to give you guys real info once it's confirmed. Hit the roads back with a twist, and uh, I'm going to let that kind of speak for itself. You just have new challenges, modifiers. I'm sure that'll be very fun. I will be covering it heavily on my streams, so subscribe on YouTube or follow on Twitch if you guys want to cover that. I stream on both usually. Rex Jones, he's back. You can get him for the quest line. Hell yeah. This is what I was excited about earlier. You get Triceratops, the Fertosa Dorbs. I'm using that again. Uh, the, the red one. Uh, Jaffe gifted me a 2,000 V-Buck version of this skin because it's, you know, that, that cute. But it's uh, a very, very coveted. So 2% of your health every 5 seconds. Is that about 20% to get... Not 20%. That's 20 seconds to go from 0 to full, which is about how long it takes two campfires so that is oh i'm so un i'm so upset about that because i use coconuts all the time and that buffs your damage as well so i might continue using saurian might and saurian uh, hide so like extra damage and extra armor but this is very very good for healing i'm sure there are certain builds where that's gonna be really nice like on days when i don't want to use coconuts i might just take saurian might off like it's not that much damage it's three percent of your health every second that's like I don't know, 30,000 extra DPS if you have a million health. If I'm not mistaken, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't know. It's it's definitely something very good. Like, I'm not. I'm just saying that I might not personally use it right away. But this is really good to have. And I'm super glad they put it in the game. Because as everybody might know, with coconuts being as overpowered they are, we've been okay. But campfires, healing pads, survivalists, nothing keeps up with Blast from the Past. You have over a million health if you're an endgame player. That is a ridiculous amount of health, and you can only heal to 30% naturally. So to have something like this giving you a little bit of generation, very nice to have. Now, I believe uh, Patriot Penny is new? No, she's not. No, no, no. It's just that Bull Rush heroes are very, very rarely seen. Uh, when your shield depletes, it resets your cooldown. That's, I mean, if you like Bull Rush, I'm not going to pretend like I'm excited about that. But hey, all the 4th of July heroes are coming out all at once. So, you know... Murka, then old AC, it gives you a charge fragment for Teddy and Shock Tower. That's interesting if that's something you guys need. Uh, Stars and Stripes Jonesy, I use him all the time. This guy is way better than you might know. Uh, that 24% chance to refund ammo is about a 37, 31.7% to overall mag size buff because you will just not shoot 24% of your bullets. And then you won't shoot 24% of those bullets and 24% of those bullets. So with a 48% chance, you are getting a 95.2% uh, overall mag size increase in the lead, which is extreme. I, I think it's 95 or 96.2. Regardless, it's a lot. Might even be 92%. I'm, just, I'm not going to throw any numbers at you anymore, but it's a lot. You basically double your mag size. It's, it's a very, very good hero. I like no BS here. Look at this. Without any planning, I can just show you my main soldier loadout. Oh, come on, Fortnite. Play nice. Oh, that's bright. I don't, mm, I don't like that. Okay. That's ugly. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you. So uh, let me just go to my soldier loadout uh, right there. Yeah. Salt, salt ammo recovery. I use this a lot because that 31% chance to save ammo stacks with mag size. So light show spitfire is the base game like uh, mag size increase guy, but stars and stripes is, is hugely better. I always give the example with the mercury LMG um, because at a hundred, uh, at a, you know what? I keep clicking Fortnite. That's how it's not switching with a hundred rounds in the magazine. Uh, light show will only give you 30 bullets. Whereas assault ammo recovery will give you well 30, but if you add a mag size perk, uh, light show will add 30 to 175 instead of whatever it is like 50 or something. And anyway, it's a lot better. Red llamas are back. That's huge. Totally rocking out. Makes a return. Lots of people missed that. Stay tuned. And then next week you'll get more of the blast and pass heroes. And I am I am certain they will roll out the rest of these one by one. It seems as though Rex Jonesy, Iza, and let me get her name. Let me get her name so I can so I can share it. Triceratops. Really, that's what they're calling her. Triceraops. Okay, <laughs> is going to roll out slowly, and uh, you'll be able to get all of them. Crack shot returns. Fantastic hero. A little out of season. That's kind of cool. Wait, help him. Load up the van. Oh, you know what? I think he's literally just the character. I doubt you're actually getting the hero, which it makes sense. I mean, he's a winner hero, but. I, I like to see all heroes return. And then the Staccato Shadow, fantastic weapon. I'll link that video in the description below. <gasps> okay, that covers the patch notes section of this. Let me take away monitor caps. So you don't see that blipping black like you just saw. Yeah, Fortnite doesn't like to doesn't like to share the full screen. So yeah, uh, Rad Llamas are back. Let me just do an overview of what's in game. We get all of these heroes, which is, you know, varying excitement. I mean, uh, Star Spangled is kind of the same thing as Assault Ammo Recovery. She gives you that Warcry ammo saving 
I use that a lot in the, my rocket launcher build. Link to that in the description below. And then as I kind of addressed, I mean, this is just Bull Rush. I talked about her in my demo video, the demo Bull Rush guy. That's actually a fun build. If you want to have some fun, I check that below. And that's kind of a great situation where she might be useful. Oh, Glory AC. Again, for Teddy builds, I've never been convinced that Teddy's useful at all. I've just really never been impressed by the damage. So, I don't have a video on that. Salt, salt ammo recovery. I will link my Mercury LMG example video where we shoot for two minutes straight using this guy in the lead. Highly recommend that. It's actually very interesting, and I use him all the time. And yes, Tricera Ops will be happily, happily added to my arsenal. Oh, they added another dino, and she also was a leak. So like I said, I don't love leaks. They're not always substantiated, but uh, she's a good one to have. I'm not going to buy 100 of those on camera because that's going to take a fat minute. But that's exciting. So if I go to my, um, I already looked at the Nocturno, but yeah, it looks like nothing new here. But Founders Quick Shot, Founders Deconstructor. I'm assuming that they gave you a, here, let me just sort by uh, name real quick here. Uh, so I would put all the Founders weapons right next to each other. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Alphabet, A, B, C, D. I'm just kidding. I don't need to. All right. Let's find it this way. Oh, they need to add a search bar to this. I know. With all these new and exciting things, well, returning and exciting things. It's uh, the one thing I could... Really? Founders Quick Shot? Okay, they gave me a blue version. That is something I might need to look further... Can I flux this at least? Oh, dear. I, I might be wrong. I might be totally missing something here, but that scares me. Because maybe it's just called the Quick Shot? I don't know, you guys. Because if I don't have a gold version of that, it's going to defeat the purpose of, of using it. Oh, no. I don't want to do too much research on camera here. Again, if, if I'm wrong about this, I'll pin it below. But what I am excited about is the Nocturno. Let me get back to that, because the Nocturno is clearly, I mean, definitively one of the strongest weapons in the game now. It is probably one of the better assault rifles in the game, and I don't really count it all the time in my lists and when I talk about it, because it's uh, it's not the same. And uh, Because if you if you don't have the paid version of the game, you just don't get it. So, like, it's one of the best assault rifles in the entire game, but it's not really a part of the conversation if people don't have it, you know what I mean? So, why I have this, I assume is because I had an upgraded version of the game, but I will probably be using that a lot nowadays. Can you change the... You can change... You can change the element on that. Okay. Well, that's exciting. I'm very, very happy about that. What other new heroes did I get, just in case I'm missing anything? Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, so I got all the Founders heroes. I got Power Base Penny. Um, who are all the special ones? Recon Scout. Recon Scout. Yeah, Lotus, Assassin, Sarah, like, I don't know. What are their bonuses, even? Okay, so she grabs the weapon damage. So just like Assassin, Sarah, Patriot, Penny, same thing. Power base is just like, I think, base Kyle, and then power base, yeah. So these are very, very similar. Anyway, there's a male and female doppelganger to all, of, like, the regular heroes in the game. And so none of these heroes from the paid versions are actually special, but that is a thing that exists as well. And then I got the survivors from earlier. I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, okay, so I haven't even jumped in game yet, and I won't be doing that in these videos, because for those of you who don't know, I like to just overview the patch notes and get all excited. The actual exploration of the game itself happens a lot of my streams, and then I'll make a more coherent video later when I really know what I'm talking about it. I'm not going to pretend like I know anything about any gameplay changes, so once again, you can light up the comments and let me know about all that, but I do want to click through... Oh, the menus are tough. Oh, that's loud. They're not going to give me the quest line. I have to actually queue the mission. All right, something we'll dive into later. This has been a very exciting patch notes. I am going to have a very fun day today. Oh my goodness. Birthday and massive update all in one. I'll check you guys out in the streams. Comment below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the in the next video. And then...